everybody, welcome to my channel, Gift Guru. I am Gigi, the Gift Guru. If you are new here, welcome, and if not, welcome back. Now, it's so crazy. We're about to enter May. Where did the first quarter of the year go? Like, seriously. This video is going to be about the top five gifts on what to get somebody for Memorial Day. Now, this video may be a little bit hard for me because I do not deal with death well. So this video may be shorter than all my other videos, but it is equally as important as my other videos. Let's not get that twisted. Now, a lot of us have Memorial Day off. We go to the beach, have a cookout, relax, just a whole bunch of stuff. But who truly knows what Memorial Day is honestly about? It's a day where we're supposed to honor men and women who die and serve in the U.S. Army. How many of us actually do that? Now, I'm guilty myself because honestly, I didn't know what Memorial Day was until this video. So I honestly think if we're not going to do nothing else, at least have a moment of silence for all of the fallen soldiers throughout history. If you can do that, that's amazing. So, but we're going to discuss some gifts, the top five gifts, but hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Y'all know what I'm about to say. My, my subscribers, they know what I'm about to say. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Like, share, subscribe. You know that keeps your girl going. So let's sit back, relax, and we're going to get on to this. Of course, one way to honor a fallen soldier is to have a garden or a front yard flag. No matter what branch of the military that they were in, these flags are customizable. Display your fallen hero with pride. Keep the presence and the light of the soldier always in your home with the different engraved candles and candle holders in the description box. Keep their memory alive and burning strong. As hard as it may be to not be able to see them every day, there is still a way that you can see their smiling faces, and that is through a personalized frame. You can keep it simple with just their rank and name or have words for reflection. Wrap yourself up in their love with their picture and information on these personalized blankets. Now, I know a blanket may be a lot for some people just to look at, but how about a pillow? That would be the perfect addition to any living room. The last gift I know may or may not be obvious, and no, it is not jewelry. Shocking, right? Considering who I am. But the last gift is dog tags. This small gift is one way to keep them with you always, wherever you go. First and foremost, I want to send my sincere condolences to all the wives, husbands, mothers, fathers, children, friends, and everybody in between to every fallen soldier out there. I am praying for y'all. I'm thinking about y'all, especially on today. Please try to take it easy. Remember all the good times and the fun that you had with your loved ones. Now, if you don't have a personal connection to a fallen soldier, there are some things that you can still do. Try just writing a letter to a soldier or their family, just expressing your appreciation about what they're doing. Or what you can do is to donate flowers to a soldier's grave or send a care package out to a soldier overseas. One thing you can also do is shop from a veteran-owned store. You can find all the details about where you can, you know, donate flowers and care packages in the description box below. We really have to realize how blessed we are that people are willing to fight for us. Even not even knowing us, they're willing to fight for us. We are blessed and we just need to enjoy the time that we have with our loved ones. Please always remember, giving a gift is more than just opening up your wallet. It is opening up your heart. Be blessed out there. Sending you all my love. Stay safe. GG out.